Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt back here for another Pokemon unboxing. Uh, I went to the local GameStop today about 15-20 minutes ago and saw this. This is the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom GX Tag Team box. It was uh, $60. Hopefully you can see it. Kind of a... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really good at taking these videos yet, so give me some slack, man. Uh, apparently it comes with 10 booster packs. That's really the main reason why I grabbed it. I haven't seen a box yet that has 10 booster packs in it. I'm sure there is, but I don't know about it. This is a premium collection. It says, Tag Team Pairings, like Pikachu and Zekrom GX, are totally in tune with each other. Able to work together to multiply their attacks into an unstoppable series. Wow! The Pokemon TCG Pikachu and Zekrom GX Premium Collection puts all that power in your hands. Ready to battle and ready to win. The Pokemon TCG Pikachu and Zekrom GX Premium Collection includes, that's a mouthful by the way, one gold foil card featuring Pikachu and Zekrom, right? One oversized card featuring them, <laughs> suitable for display, 10 Pokemon packs, and a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. Alright guys, so this is $60. Um, I don't know if the price is going to fluctuate much, but it is a gorgeous card. So, uh... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, here it is, a more up close and personal viewing angle. Uh, here you can see on the sides, we got some of the booster packs kind of peeking out, giving you a little teasy tease. Some back here, I imagine. Let's go ahead and get this sucker opened up. If you guys have purchased any of these boxes before, let me know in the comments which ones you've had. If you've had any great pulls, Get rid of the box! Oh, oh my god. Look at that, man. See some fusion strike. Darkness of Blaze, maybe? In the back right here? Okay, so some packs I've never had. Oh, be careful! I'm gonna keep this in here, but here is the code card in case anybody wants it. There you go. Have fun with that. Dude, I need to put some WD-40 on my chair. This thing is going through it right now. And here's an oversized view of the card. We got Zekrom in the back and Pikachu right there with his arms folded. Like, what are you going to do, dude? Full Blitz 150. Oh my god. Search your deck for up to three energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shovel your deck. Hmm. Centering looks uh, kind of nice. Not too shabby. Alright, I'm going to throw that right here for the video behind my undead Batman. And here are the packs. See ya! Alright guys, so what we have so far, Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Darkness Ablaze, Brilliant Stars, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, and Darkness Ablaze. Okay, so we're going to put these, we're going to do Darkness last. Because I know that those are pretty sought after. Uh, we'll do Chilling Rain first. Vivid. Then Fusion. Evolving. Brilliant. And then Darkness. Alright guys, I'm going to change up the angle and get into these packs. Alrighty guys, here we go. We got the packs stacked up right there. And first one, Chilling Rain. Let's we'll see how good this box is. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Pokemon is if you have one. Oh, shit. Already messing up. Reverse Hollow Heracross, nice. And... Scott. Scallopede? Is that how you say it? 
All right, fun fact, Chilling Rain was actually the first booster box that I purchased for myself. Uh, I don't know where I've been, apparently I've been living under a rock because I didn't even know that you could purchase them in bulk like that. So that was uh, pretty cool to find out. I pulled some pretty good cards off of that as well. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but I'll do a binder uh, look through video maybe. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that or not. Dillabird, nice. Reverse Agron and a freaking Agron, nice. Well, there goes Chilling Rain out of the way. Yeah, you see it ripped off a sticker there somehow. I think I spilled coffee on the mat and uh, I had to take some of the stickers off because they got stained. So kick energy. Reverse whooper and ooh, a Leon trainer gallery card. Or just trainer card. I'm not sure. Well, I want you to focus. Alright, not too bad, man. I like that one. And in my rookie amateur self I forgot to get my sleeves fusion strike I really want that Gengar man I got a uh, I got a fusion strike trainer or booster I don't even know what it's called man one of those build battle boxes and uh, I didn't really pull anything good out of that all right fighting energy hers are nice Shelmet. Reverse hollow chancy. Ooh, 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 ooh! A Cinderace V. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I do not have this one yet. That is a nice card. Wow. Okay. Very nice pull. So we got a Leon and a Cinderace so far. And that was out of Fusion Strike. Not too shabby. I hate seeing that ripped off sticker thing right there. And what do you guys think the best method? The best the best method. What do you think the best method is for pulling these packs apart? I've seen multiple renowned Pokemon unboxers do it in many different ways. So I'm interested to know what the correct method in your opinion is. Reverse Gramble, that's nice. And a Gudra. I'll have to organize all these cards after. I usually do. All right, Evolving Skies, moving on. We can get an Umbreon or a Rayquaza. That would be absolutely insane. Right. Code called, yes. Alright, come on, baby. Come on, baby. I I've always loved Gold Duck as a Pokemon. Drowsy. Side Duck. Swablu. Reverse Hollow. Ursaring. Ooh, what is. What the hell is this? Oh! 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 <laughs> A Glaceon VMAX, dude, look at that card. That is nuts. Wow, that is gorgeous, man. Such a good hit. I'm probably butchering it with all the oil in my fingers, but... <sighs> that was a good one. I'm glad that we got one of the Eeveelutions. One more Evolving Skies, come on, baby. Come on, baby.
Need a jail code, yes. Text message and data rate supply. <laughs> All right, I don't even. What is this? Steel, metal, energy. The best. Reverse hollow rock. Roggen roller. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, dude, oh, 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 oh. <coughs> There's no way. There's no freaking way. What? We got an SP on VMAX and a Glaceon VMAX. That is nuts, dude. Oh my god. I can't f believe it, guys. That is crazy. I'm literally lightheaded right now. Wow. I can't believe we got two Evolving Skies VMAX cards out of two Evolving Skies Pokemon packs. That is crazy. All right, come on, let's take it home. We got Brilliant Stars and two Darkness Ablaze packs. I, I, I can't believe that. I really can't. Oh my god. Those cards are gorgeous too, man. The only other one that would have been great aside from those would have been the Umbreon. Isn't there like an alt art? Okay. Oh, I love it too, knowing that like none of this is planned. How many uh, how many Pokemon channels out there do you guys think are like kind of rigged, where it has to have some form of content? Reverse Muck and a Mothin. All right, so that is the Brilliant Stars pack. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything out of that. I'm gonna go with this one first. All right, guys. First, Darkness Ablaze pack. Let's see what we can pull out of this. Oh, white border. That's not a good look. It's not a good look. Was that Evolution the last hit for us? Psychic Energy. Ted Yerza. Reverse Shelmet and a Grand Bowl, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, here it is. The long awaited last pack. I don't even want to open it. It feels kind of heavy, but I'm not I'm not too uh, versed on the pack weights. If it's a white border though, it's over. Oh my god. Oh, it's a white border. No. <laughs> no, man. Ah. And let's just go ahead and get it over. Reverse Bunnelby and a muck, guys. Oh, man. Kind of disappointing on the Darkness of Blaze packs, but I already have the Charizard that everybody's looking for, so that's not really an issue. Guys, once again, let's look at these pulls. Please don't kill me for not having them sleeved yet. I promise I will do it immediately. These are the ones that we got. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments if that's a good enough hit. <sighs> Man. Well, guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull anything else out of the last remainder of the packs, but we did get some pretty good hits in my opinion. Um, I'm really excited about the Evolutions, the Glaceon, and the Espeon uh, cards. Leon was a good uh, pull. I saw one Leon, um, I think it's a Trainer Gallery, or Leon's Charizard or something, but he's with him. Oh, it looks so sick. Ah, but anyway, let me know in the comments what other packs you would like to see me open. Um, I'm not too broke at the moment, so I would definitely like to keep doing some more of these Pokemon openings. I guess I'm just living out my childhood fantasy. So uh, <laughs> with that being said, guys, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. If you're only here for the code cards, I completely understand. So yeah, that's going to do it here. As always, I appreciate you stopping by, and I hope to catch you on the next one.